He's crazy. Excuse me, Your Honor, but he's a fucking nutcase. The girl's family doesn't want any part of it. John, don't do this to me. That son of a bitch doesn't have any right walking the street, and you know it. <sighs> I did all I could. Come on, we've all seen this a hundred times. The family is scared. They testify, then what? He's convicted and then sentenced. It's an open and shut case. Oh, open and shut case, my ass. It's shut for three months while he's in jail. Then he comes out and he opens it again. The girl is shaking. Believe me, Your Honor, if this were your daughter, you'd do exactly the same thing. That's the way our system works. Counselor, you don't have to tell me how our system works. Bill, do you have anything to say? Well, according to the test results, uh, he appears to be, as strange as it may seem, normal. Normal? Anyone who terrorizes a girl simply for refusing to go to a movie with him isn't normal. You don't need your ink blots to figure that out, doctor. Easy, counselor. What difference does it make? The family's not going to press any charges. I don't see any point in, in keeping this discussion up. I have an appointment in a half hour. I think we should just wrap it all up. These are my chambers, sir, and I decide when things are wrapped up. I'm sorry, Your Honor. With that attitude, I can imagine how hard you tried to persuade the family to press charges. Your other client will wait. Your Honor, the boy has an unusual history which dates back to his childhood. I wouldn't want him coaching my son's baseball team. But he has no place in jail or a mental institution at this time. So let's give him time to mutilate a half dozen women for refusing to go out with them. Now, that'll be enough, Counselor. You can save your grandstand remarks for the, the jurors. Damn, I'm not impressed. I could prescribe some medications that would uh, control his erratic behavior. Since the death of his parents, I see here that he is in the custody of his grandmother. His grandmother's a wealthy lady. A defense attorney could have made a bundle off her. If the girl would have testified. The grandmother has expressed a great desire to keep the custody of the boy. And I feel it necessary for the court to uh, also to request that she provide for the boy's care. Both with a live-in nurse and a psychiatrist to monitor his behavior and growth. And administer the series of medications that will be prescribed. Now, if the grandmother is as rich as you say... She'll have no problem affording it. Your Honor, I'm sorry for my behavior this afternoon, but I sure hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So do I.